Okay, today guys, let's do something like this. So, let's jump in, right, to Cinema 4D. So, first thing we're gonna do is load the plane. Then, let's make the plane 500 in width and height and 1000 in with seg segments and height so this should be necessary guys because we are using displacement to uh, form our plane here so we need a lot of segments so right now we're gonna put in the displacer here so press shift while click clicking on displacer so that it will automatically apply so if you haven't downloaded yet the GS placement I have a link in the description below so just download the plugin and install it in your desktop so I have here I have already downloaded the, the it's not a plugin it's a apps so it's a standalone apps wherein you can generate displacement to be used in Cinema 4D so just click here the left top part of the uh, software the GS placement software and here you can find uh, the options for creating or generating displacement so you have here the uh, classic but what I want to to use is right here in the GS placement 2 and just press R or click here so that it will generate random displacement images so a GS placement it can generate up to 8k um, high resolution images so that we can use in our displacer in Cinema 4D so you have options here classic the crop and the big data so you can just experiment uh, what you like here so right now I'll be using this one you can also adjust the there are many options here but this one is okay for me so gonna click save Just click displacer and in the shading tab let's load an image and just load the the one you just generated from the GS placement so right there and then you can see the the plane was displaced by the image that you choose so here you can further fine-tune this displacement by going to the object tab and then going to the then to the height let's type in 80 centimeter yep, that's good We will copy this one, just press control on your keyboard and then just drag this one to the top and then we're gonna put negative values here for the second displacer there. We will create another one. And 
for this one we will load another image then we we'll go to our directory here Let's load another image from the your displacement your generated displacement maps so you can experiment here but I'll just put like five centimeter here okay then right there you can see you already generated our displacement um, our plane One to maybe fifty here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's look for a angle that we like. So maybe here. So what you can see here. I'm using Corona Cinema in Cinema 4D for rendering this image right here. But if you don't have any Corona renderer, you can just use the built-in physical renderer in Cinema 4D. But for now, we'll be using uh, Corona. So I have loaded here my original scene file. And I already set it up. It already has uh, three lights that comes from the left and the right and on the top. I also had the Corona camera already set up and put a uh, protection tag on it. And here. I enable the depth of field options here below then I put an app stop of one that we can have that uh, depth of field I also added the target tag and the lights I created a null I rename it light target so that uh, every time I move the the light or the the target, the the light goes with it. I wanna show you guys how to how I created this uh, shader. This one. And I wanna create a new material, or on a new material. Then double click this one. Here, at the diffuse, uh, the texture will load the uh, the displacement map that we have here at the displacer, and then I'm gonna click again and then put colorizer on it. Um, this time, maybe we'll put some green color darker green here and maybe blue here darker blue yeah but, uh, it all depends on your uh, choice so but for now we'll do 
green to something like this one next we'll just copy this one drag this one to uh, translucency you can see here uh, second from the top so let's enable this one and let's put a Maybe we'll click this one and make it just a little brighter. Something like that. Then the blue. A little bit brighter. Then enable the reflection. Maybe put a bit of light point. 85 then apply this one to our planes here just replace the original one that I had and then another setting just put the corona as a render and we'll just create 800 by 450 image for now so let's fire up corona um, render here then let's start the interactive rendering yeah that's looking good guys so this is how I achieve the shader you can uh, feel free to experiment guys what's what is something you like or what color you like And if you do the final render for this one, um, up the resolution here to maybe full HD, maybe we'll do 120 by 1080. Let's stop this one, then click render to render the uh, full image that's it thank you for watching guys and see you in the next tutorial